Hello there and welcome back to another Final Fantasy XIV guide. Now, today we are going to be... Rin? Rin? What are you doing? You're not going to say hi? What are you doing there? Oh, you check it out. Trying to work out your inventory. Bit of a mess, is it? <laughs> Alright, well, you're in luck because today we are going to be starting a new little mini series about game features that you will unlock through the main story and some of the side quests that aren't really explained fully in the game. Kind of just dumps it on you and then you kind of try and work it out for yourself how it, everything works. Not all of it's easy. Today, however, we are going to be jumping straight into the hiring of retainers, which will solve Rin's problem right here. So what retainers are, retainers are your item storage, your, like your bulk item storage, and also they will you can use them to sell stuff on the market board for other players to buy. It's the only way to sell stuff unless you want to do you can do like personal trades but that's a bit more of a hassle than it's worth however retainers you will unlock retainers at level 17 in the main story by completing the scions of the seventh dawn quest which is the main story quest quite early on now from what i remember it will tell you once you've done the quest you have unlocked retainers and or unlocked access to retainers and that's about it it doesn't really tell you how to get them how where to go or anything like that so we're going to go through that today are you ready to go we're going to jump in and we are going to head off to where you would hire your retainers now you can get two for free I'll go into that when we get there, though. Ready, Rin? All right, then, bud. Let's go. So in Gridania, it'll be in the Ebony Stalls. And you would come to see and talk to Parnell, the re retainer vocate. Now... In Grudenia, you come see this guy. In Limsa Liminsa, you would come and see this guy. And in Uldar, you would come and see this guy. Now, they all work the same. You can go to any of the retainer vocates and sort your retainers out. Now, you will get two you get two free retainers from the game. Now, for most people, that is enough. If, for whatever reason, it is not enough, you can pay an extra, I think it's $2. I think it's $2. An extra $2 a month per retainer to get extra retainer storage. It's one of those you can get away with just having two. If you're a super hoarder like me and you store a whole load of like crafted materials and like storing a lot of well, materials for it's mostly mostly high level crafters that feel the need that they need more storage if you're not interested in crafting then by all means you can get away with two even if you are a crafter you can probably still get away with two if you're not a hoarder but two is enough for most cases. Two is enough for most cases. I, however, have access to six. Just because. <laughs> because I'm a high-level crafter for the free company. Right, so... Back on topic. Once you've reached your chosen re retainer vocate in any of the cities, obviously you have a chat with them. And we're going to be looking at the top top entry right now because that's the most important one for for right now we'll go we will go through the other ones but we're going to deal jump into the hiring a retainer first so 
once you click on hire a retainer I'll tell you how many you can hire and how many you've got and then it will take you to the and I'll confirm that you want to hire a retainer you obviously click yes and then it will take you to the character creation screen now you've you've all you've you've all been in here before in the main character creation screen it works exactly the same you set up your character however you your retainer however you would like them to look you can also if you have a saved template you can also use one of those to speed the speed up the process so we're going to skip all the nitty gritty of this because you've done it all before and you know it's fairly easy to understand right guys so once you have set up your retainer how you like them to look you will be asked to select your retainer's personality now this affects as far as i know it's never affected anything other than how they speak to you obviously you to pick which one you would like the idea of it'll tell you when you click on one polite for example so you know we we'll, have just the individual man when someone the retainer will greet you just so it's how busy how they speak to you you know polite via a female what will it be love and when dismissed the retainer will bid you farewell as must be part so soon so obviously different ones for the obviously just depends on entirely on personal choice as to how you want them to address you if you want them to be lively i'm going to pick lively i think Okay, that. All right, so lively female females a little bit uh, on the spicy side. I like it. <laughs> so once you've picked your personality, obviously you sit, confirm that you want to hire that retainer. If you obviously, if you don't like the way they're speaking to you, then you can obviously go back and click no, and it'll go back to the personality option. So we're going to click yes. And then now you have to give the retainer a nickname. Obviously, they have their own name, which you never find out. You give them a nickname. And this is probably the hardest part of actually making a retainer. Because each name is has to be unique. And no one else in the server can obviously have that name. It's kind of like picking your character name. It can take a while to get something on the go. Uh, what we're gonna go? I'm gonna try Alpha. Did that work straight away? One moment, please, while I draft the proper documentation. Don't be teased. Ah, the name you've chosen is not available. Please select another. Uh. There we go. There we go. Second time the charm. Not bad. Not bad. But yeah, you've got to think of a name that is not going to be taken. Can take you quite a while. It's basically the names, the nicknames there to protect your anonymity on who's selling what to stop people harassing you if you undercut them or whatever it is. You know, just prevent harassment as much as they can. Uh, right, so. Now you've picked your name, you've picked your look, you picked your personality, you picked your name. And that's pretty much it for actually making your retainer. And if we go back into her, we we'll have a quick look at the other options. Second option down, dispatch a retainer to Gradania. Basically, if you want to move your retainer to a different city, you can. It doesn't really affect anything these days, because I think everything's equalized. There used to be a reason to do it in the past. Down to taxes. But I think they equalize the taxes, so it doesn't really affect anything these days. Just have them which in, in whichever city you want. Obviously, release a retainer is if you want to get rid of your retainer. I don't think you would ever really want to do that. You can ask her about retainers and about what they do. This one we're going to be going into in a little bit. Retainer jobs. And then obviously view market tax rates. The uh, actually hold on. 
it is a bit of basically where tax rate wise when you buy something off the market board you will pay a buyer's tax and a seller if you're selling you'll pay a seller's tax so you'll get money taken off the total that you sold it for and the buyer will pay a buyer's tax which you means you'll pay more more than the list price so you've got to be careful with that keep an eye on it because obviously it can all add up we'll say something's ten thousand and you have ten thousand gil and you want to buy a ten thousand gil item from the market board you won't have enough because you have to pay the tax on top of that so you would have to have like 12 or 13 thousand roughly it depends on the item but roughly an extra like chunk of cash to actually buy it obviously and occasionally you will get some reductions in tax on so ishgard if you buy something in ishgard it has a reduced tax and in kugane you have a reduced tax as well but those are expansion areas if you haven't got any expansions yet, obviously these would be your first, you, these would be your, your main ones: Limsa, Gridania, and Uldar. And that's pretty much it for the rest of the retain, retainer vocate. Right. So now you have your retainer set up. You would go through to another city and hire another retainer. So you have your second one. Same process as, as this one, obviously. Now, to use your retainers, you will have to find a thing called a summoning bell. Or to use one in the market, there's a few in the marketplaces. Yeah, there's one in your in room, and it'll maybe one in your free company house or apartment if you have access to housing. However, you can use any summoning bell. So if you click on your summoning bell. you will get this lovely menu with your list of retainers now you select retainers and so use any summon and bell if you click on the bell it will give you the, your current list of retainers and a whole bunch of information as to how many items they've got in the inventory, how much gil they can store, how much the gil they have. Do they have any items for sale and of the ventures if you have any in progress. So you will click on, obviously we've only got one, so you're going to click on R2. And it will bring her to you. And you will get all of her options. Now there's another feature to unlock which we're going to be doing after this one. If you want to hand over items straight inventory, they have 175 slots in their inventories to hold on items for you. And you would just drag and drop, or in this case... Transfer your items over, any items that you don't want to keep on your person. Uh, like so. Obviously, if you want to remove some items from your retainer, obviously it's the opposite. You go into the retainers menu. In the same menu, in retainer side, and transfer it back retrieve from retainer and if you want to only want to take a few you would click retrieve quantity and select how many you want to take if you want to take the whole stack click on retrieve from retainer it'll take the whole lot if you want a certain number click on retrieve quantity you can also your retainer can also sell to the market just the general vendors straight from the inventory as well don't always want to do that in some cases it's worthwhile generally if you're gonna have something sell something you want to be on the market board for another player to sell because it sells for more most of the time right. next option entrust a wardrobe grill 
pretty grill. Grill, even. Pretty much self explanatory. If you want to transfer, you can store gill on your retainer. If you want to take gill out of your retainer, obviously you want to have it set to withdraw, arrow pointing right. If you want to deposit, obviously you change the arrow to left and it'll transfer into the retainer. An easier pie, just like that. If you want to know the next option, sell items in the inventory on the market board. Which gets into thingy. So say you want to sell this Lanusi and Toast. Click on that in your inventory. And it'll, ask, it'll ask how much you want to sell it for and how many you want. Obviously if you've only got one, it'll default to one. So if we sell that for 1,000... And it will tell you that you will get, when the item is sold, you will be charged a 5% tax, which is, equates to 50 gil. So when you sell that for a thousand gil, you will actually sell it, you will receive 950 gil as payment, because obviously it will take off 50 gil from you as tax. And Lastly, well not lastly, there's a good few sale history. Next, obviously you have the sell items in your retainers inventory on the market. It works exactly the same as the selling from your inventory. But instead of having it from, instead of pulling the items from your inventory, it pulls them for your retainers inventory, i.e. stuff you've stored. Works exactly the same way though. And then last but not least, view sale history is pretty much that. It will give you a list of what you've sold and how much for and give you a whole lot of information that way so you can work out what's sold well and what isn't selling well. Stuff like that, just general information. And that is it for your basic retainer menu. However, there is another feature that you can unlock for your retainers. It's in the form of a side quest. Now, these, there's three side quests in total. One for each city, depending on which one you're in. We're going to go for the Gridania one, which is over by the main etherite in the, each city. And then you would come to see the Troubled Adventurer. So, in this case, in Grudene, you will come see this guy right here. Like the Retainer Vocates. I'll show you the thing. If you want Grudene, you will come to this guy right here. If you want to... If you're in Uldar, you would go to this guy right here. If you're in Limsa Luminsa, you will go to this guy right here. They all work the same way. They will all unlock the feature. It doesn't matter which one you do. He'll send you out to go looking for his retainer out in the field. You're supposed to be in a specific location. Once you do that, you will end up completing the quest. We're going to do, go do that now. And complete the quest and you will unlock ventures. Now what ventures are, are you can equip your retainer with what well, select a job for them or class for them. Equip them up, then you can pay them venture tokens, special currency called venture tokens, to send them out to do stuff for you. So once you have them unlocked, you come back to your summoning bell, click your retainer, and at the bottom, you will get a new option called assign retainer class. First rule is, you have to have the job unlocked in order to give them it. So you will get obviously a list of everything that you have available in the game. You can make them a minor botanist and a fisher, but obviously, I haven't had got them unlocked yet. So we're gonna pick Thaumaturge in this particular case because the way it works is you your retainer can't level up in their class higher than you are in in that particular class. So this retainer will level up as 
you know, just as you send her out, she'll get experience points like you do. You level them up like a player character. So what you tend to do is you tend to pick your main job, the one that you're highest level in, is you can give them old gear that you're not going to use anymore. So when you replace your gear as your battle class, you can give them your old set, your hand-me-down gear, which saves you a lot of gear in the long run. In this case, we're going to pick Thaumaturge. I'll confirm if you want to proceed with that. And you'll generate a Thaumaturge. So once you've made them a level 1 Thaumaturge, before you can send them out, you have to click on this another option here, View Retainer Attributes and Gear. And you have to gear them up. Obviously, the main thing before you, you don't have to gear them up here right now, but you have to give them a level one weapon. Now, if you don't have your level one weapon in your chosen class, you can rebuy one from the market, from the market stalls. You can buy them from the market board as well, but they're massively overpriced. So if you head to Ingridania, you would head to here. One of these guys. You would head to this guy in, well, this type of vendor in any of the main cities. They all have different starter weapons. Also, you would equip your level one. You have to give them a level one weapon so that you can send them out for ventures. If you want to, at this stage, you can gear them up as you would yourself in old gear that you've got lying around. You don't have to, but it obviously it will. It does affect the quality and quantity of stuff that your retainers can bring back. So you kind of want to keep them geared as best you can. It's up to you how often you want to do that. I'm just going to leave it for now because I don't think I've got anything to actually equip her with properly. But the main thing is to be able to send her out on, on send them out on ventures. You need to have a weapon on them. They can't die. They'll just you know they'll always come back. So once you've equipped your retainer with a weapon and gear, you will get another one called a sign venture. If you click on that, you there are two types of ventures which you can assign. Now the first type, uh, first category is hunting, hunting, botany, uh, mining, and fishing. They all come under the same category under the hunting thing. So you would go into the hunting. If you say you wanted a specific item, you're gathering, wanting to get a crafting materials, for example, or specific crafting materials you can send them out to go get that for you. Now your other option is field exploration. Now what this is, it will send your retainer out and it will last 18 hours, should be gone for 18 hours real time. And it will cost two, these cost two venture tokens each, each time you send them out. And they can bring back a random item from you know in the game could be a fish could be someone's roof could be a tree it could be a primal weapon like a high-end weapon it can be pretty much anything within reason i don't think there's a incomplete i don't think it's everything in the game but it's quite a lot of cool stuff that they can bring back it is random though so obviously you take your chances now, when I say it's to go out for 18 hours, they'll be on the venture for 18 hours, but you can still use your retainer as normal while they're out on the venture. So you don't have to worry about that. And that is pretty much it for, uh, for actually assigning ventures. Now, your venture tokens, you can get from a few places. You can get them from your grand company. 
you can trade them for grant for grand company seals at your grand company for ventures and you can get a few of them from the beast tries which we haven't looked at yet I haven't looked at the uh, grand companies yet either but you can get them from your grand company and you can get them from your for beast tribes as well most people just get them from the grand company because it's easier to do it that way but basically stock up on seals and get your venture tokens and then obviously just keep on send them out and they'll bring you back cool stuff Rin, hopefully that has helped out your inventory management somewhat you think it has good 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 should have no more inventory troubles yeah that's what we all say that's what we all say oh. this has been obviously your look at ventures and, and retainers hopefully it has helped it's shed some light into how to work and how to set them up and everything like that. hopefully it has helped if it has let me know in the comment section below if there's something i've forgotten about which is a good chance that 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 there is do let me know in the comments as well and i shall either pin your comment or update the video thank you all for tuning in if you are new here Feel free to subscribe, come check out some other stuff we've got going on. We'd love to have you here. I have quite a few other guides going on at the minute and more to come. If you're not new here and you're returning, thank you very much for the support. It is much appreciated. I love you all. You're all amazing. And you all know what's coming. Please like, share, comment, subscribe and all that jazz. And as always, we'll see you on the flip side. Bye-bye.